already I can hear people saying why another e-bike video damn you're wild camping you're the camping channel you go out cooking outdoors why am I messing around with e-bikes I know I get the comment I always do so therefore thought at the beginning of the video I'll exactly tell you why I'm showing the sea bike and there's a really good reason for it if you're a subscriber my re previous camping video uh, I mentioned it on there if you just subscribed recently I'll, uh, I'll explain that in a second or two why I've accepted the sea bike So why did I accept this e-bike to show on my YouTube channel when I've already got a brilliant e-bike what I like completely so I didn't really need another one. Basically the company contacted me, asked me would I like to review this on the channel. I originally said no thank you, I'm happy with the e-bike I've got, I didn't really want putting all these uh, sort of videos on the channel when like I've already said I'm an outdoor camping channel and stuff like that and the offered to send me it for me to show a little video about it and then to give it away on the YouTube channel as a giveaway and that got me alarm bells ringing going do you know what that's a fantastic idea i could get this e-bike make a short video like this come back in a couple of weeks do a giveaway competition on the channel so somebody will win this fantastic e-bike e-bikes are coming more and more popular for the uh, elderly people people with mobility problems and quite a lot of the younger generation are getting into e-bikes as well like myself i'm not a massive lover of getting on a bike and just pedaling I do like the idea of pedal assist really but if you do watch youtube a lot of outdoor channels camping stuff like that are always using e-bikes as well i think we're just getting lazier the generation i know someone's going to go on about that as well so stop being lazy get on a proper bike <laughs> anyway the e-bike this is what the video is about i said i'd show bits on the e-bike to show you guys or anybody looking up this e-bike they can see a video on it and then we will come a little two or three weeks down line and do a giveaway about the sea bike so i'm going to show you it uh show you the, the pros and cons about it there's one or two things that i don't like about the sea bike but that's just me you might get it and be completely fine about it anyway let's get you into the e-bike like i've agreed to with the company and like i said we'll come back in a few weeks and do the giveaway competition with it so straight away you can see where it's a beautiful color of e-bike it's like army green with yellow writing on it I can't pronounce that word, but it is the i7 mode. And there's the website if you're interested in going and looking at it. Hydraulic disc brakes are very responsive. They stop you really good. You get pedal paddle, let's say here, so you can stand your bike up right here so it doesn't fall over. Somehow you can push these in. There we go. And fold them in like that. Most e-bikes are having this now. Helps with storage, here's a click it back round, like so. But they do have fantastic metal grips here, so your feet don't slip off the pedal paddle when you're going. You've got your motor there, we'll run through all that stuff in a bit. Mud guards, I do like to see these on e-bikes. You can tell here I've been through a lot of mud already. Another mud guard at the front. Air suspension, so if you're an heavier person or you feel like the suspension's too soft, you just unscrew this here and you get any ordinary pump and pump some air into it to make the suspension better at the front here you do have an, a, a lock off point anyway so you can make your suspension softer and more firmer that's the softest and turn it round you're adding pressure there so you're making your suspension more tougher let's say 20 by 4 inch fat tyre e-bike says they say alloy wheels very very good I like to see how it's been machined that is very fancy that instead of just being plain black they've machined it these are solid suspension here it shows you all the measurements there as well doesn't it
nice little light on the front you, you turn that on by the computer board it's a fold up bike as well so you press this in pull it round and you can just we'll set it up in a minute and show you that here's your key this is one thing i don't like for it to work you've always got to have your key in some e-bikes allow you to take that out but this one you've got to have the key in all times if you want to use the e-bike there we go well i did have it right then there we go middle suspension i like the machine finish on this this is really nice so it's got center suspension here's your gears we all know about shimano gears eight one two three four five six seven eight there that's your motor like i say or your gear system back rack so you can rather what i've seen somebody done is they've got a little piece of board and they've uh, bolted it in place like that to make it a solid uh, surface another fella then he used it to put all his camping equipment on you can hold up to 25 kilos you do get this lock with it as well what you can attach to the e-bike adjustable seat just by pressing this turn it round and see it goes up and down the handlebars are the hardest because once you set it all up, then you've got to press this in, in, in here for it to start allowing this to come down. You can't just do it like that. So you've got to press this spring-loaded part in here to pull it round. It's in two sections. So when you're building it together, you can't put all that together and then do it. You've got to put this to the side and then pull the handlebars round to slot in place. You have your brakes. They do send this as well a phone holder. So you, this adjusts as wide as you need it to be. I've got the Samsung S23 and that fits in there perfect. And it's also capped off at the bottom so you know your phone can't fall out. You've got your brakes here. Uh, gear, sorry. Right, so you've got your computer screen there. I haven't took the plastic case off that yet. I've left it on you like your protector. And here's your throttle. Now, some people like the throttles on, some people take them off. I've left it on, it's how it came from the manufacturers, but that is the throttle. You've got your next brake there. They seem very easy. I think there should be a way you can tighten them up to make them a little bit more firmer. Seem really easy just to, to press them. Handlebars are shaped, so it's got that grip, you know, at the bottom of your arm, your hand there. So instead of it just being round all the way down, it comes off with that bit of grip here. So your monitor, so here you've got your on, on and off, your mode, your power levels for your assist, up, 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 down, down, down. All right, so you've got your computer mode there. So what we need to do is turn it on by this. And the computer then should turn on. No, I think I've turned it off at the bottom. Right, there we go. It is flashing. It's my phone. It's not the uh, out to do with the computer. You can see that it says number one there, that's your power assist. If you just keep pressing up, 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 it goes up to five. So that's your best power assist mode. You lower it down back to one. Then if you hold this down like this and your light comes on, I don't think you'll see the light if we go to the front. Yeah, you can see that the lights come on there. So press that back in again. And hopefully, yeah, it's turned the light off now. Then it shows you your trip, how many miles you're on, your average speed. You've got your battery life up there. You can't really see it like this. When I come to do the giveaway, we'll show all this again in house so we might get a better clear and you know clear picture of the uh, computer mode like i say you got your throttle here it's not going to do anything because we've got no power assist on so that is the bike folded in half what you can do as well is you can drop your handlebars here like so and then it should fold down into place there we go, like that. 
so that'll easy fit in back of your car. Here is your battery. You'd have to open the battery again there for that to come out. See that little bar there? That's what moves. There you go, so now the battery, let's just take the key out as well, or it's gonna fall down. So now that bar has gone to the inside, your battery will slide out, like so. All your wattage and stuff is there. I doubt we're gonna see it. See, it's very bright, isn't it? We'll run for all that in a minute though. 48 volt battery, 960 watts. So I'll put that back in, you've just got to slide it back up in the tube area. Turn your key, what your key holds there, for that little bar to come back out here and that'll lock the battery back in place. These are all your connections where the battery joins to. So if you ask me, that does look really small, compact, fold up e-bike that, doesn't it? It'll fit in any back of any car, that will. What I like about these back lights is this is a brake light. Also, on the handlebars, it has an indicator. Obviously, move it to the left, move it to the right, it'll indicate like that. Let me just see if I can show you the indicators working. A little horn. It's like annoying, but it works. So we'll go left, the indicator. Yeah, you can see it flashing there. And obviously if we go right, it'll flash right as well. That is the first e-bike I've had with flashing indicators. Right, turn the battery off, we need to keep some of that to enjoy the ride around I'm going to do. It's going to be a fantastic giveaway this. So I know I've mentioned the front suspension. I'm not sure if I mentioned the middle suspension. I don't seem to feel this one working like I do with the front suspension, but I must admit, I've only been out on the bike today. I barely done three or four miles on it. So I don't really want to get to know the e-bike inside out really, because I'm not going to be using it. Like I say, I'm going to be doing it as a giveaway on the channel. It's a fantastic prize this. Now unfortunately it will only be given away over in the UK because of postage. In a previous video I run about I might ask the person to pay towards the pack, posting and packaging. I'll deal with that myself so it don't cost anybody anything. Let me tell you a few things about the e-bike what it shows in the manual book. To set it up once you get out of the box it's very easy. All you got to do is add the handlebars and the paddles, paddles, pedals and you're away to go. So I do have the manual that comes with the e-bike. I'll never remember all this, it'd be impossible. So it's uh, the i7 Pro 2, aluminium fold-up, full suspension frame, fat tyres, 20 inch by 4 inch tyre, and it says the e-bike will, with the power, go to a 30 degrees hill. I don't know if I have anything around here to test that, to be truthful with you. Uh, the maximum load weight is 150 kg, so if you're any heavier than that or whatever you're putting on bike, the e-bike's going to struggle. The top speed here, it says 28 miles an hour. Now that is true. I'm, I'm not even going to lie about that. Normally in the UK, we buy these e-bikes and they're uh, regulated to 12 points summit. This one is a full 28 miles an hour e-bike. It is illegal, I think, so whoever buys it, or not buys it, let's say, whoever wins this one when I do it, you know, it's up to them what they do with it. Uh, 750 watt motor. It's a Samsung battery, 48 volts. They say you can charge this battery from flat 800 times. Is that all right? I'm not unspent sure about that. 800 times before the battery starts losing its top performance, let's say. The thing what I do understand about this e-bike is it says it can go 35 miles up to 50 miles. Now, I reckon that's with the weight on the bike, whatever load you're putting on it. 
with a full battery. Are you using Pedal Assist 5, Pedal Assist 1? I reckon 35 miles is probably full assist, but like I said, it does depend on the weight on the bike. I think the 35 miles, like I says that, I think the 50, 50 miles, that might be a Pedal Assist 1. But either way, if you get out on this and you do 20 miles in a day, that's fantastic, isn't it? Really is fantastic just to get outdoors on one of these. E bikes are coming more popular, like I've already said. I wish I had room for all these e bikes I got offered, so I would accept every one of them, to be fair. But like I said earlier, I've already got one that I like the most. I'm not going to go on about the name on this video. So to give this fantastic e bike away to somebody, I'm looking forward to doing that. Even though normally when I do giveaway competitions, I really hate the idea of only one person can win some it. Well, this would be one good prize for one person, but that's in another video. What do you think about the sea bike? Is it something you'd see yourself riding around on? Something else I looked into. To charge one of these e-bikes is less than 70p for full charge. And if you do 50 miles out of a full charge to 70p, 70p, 70 pence, let's say, that is a fantastic way. You know, how far would you do 50 pound? How much would that cost you in fuel for your car? If you could hop on an e-bike and go to work every day, and you can do 50 miles a week, let's say, for 70p, that is not bad, is it? You'd be saving a lot of money there. So one other thing I want to make it aware of, these e-bikes, 1,400 pound. It's a lot of money, but about all the fun you can have with them, I reckon it'd be worth it if you've got that money to spend. Yeah. The things I don't like about the sea bike, I know people are waiting for that. Number one, I don't like the idea how you've got to have the key in all the time. I, I'm not 100% I'm not liking that. I think that's the only bit what I don't like. I did say there were two or three, but after looking at it more and more, just having to leave the key in, that seems to me a bit silly. You'll think if you're outside the shop and you think, well, I'll just chain it up with padlock, leave the key, it'll be all right, no one will nick it. And they come and nick it, they've got your key, they've got everything, they can take the bike. If you take the key out, yeah, that's a little bit harder. But how many times are you going to forget the keys there? If they could do it where the key weren't attached all the time, that would be a probably a better thing. What's to say you're going over rough terrain and the key somehow makes it way out? Yeah, the e-bike might cut off, I get that, but what if it doesn't and you lose the key? You do get two keys, but what are the chances of you bringing both keys with you when you're going out on your e-bike? I think they need to do a way where you don't have to have the key all the time like that. I like the idea to put mud guards on as well. That is a good idea with mud guards. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, please. And the video after this, I will be out camping. I've got a great camp video to show you. It's already been recorded and everything, so it's uh, just ready to press go. So a day or two after this, I'll upload that camping video for you. I hope people can understand as well. I accepted the sea bike as a giveaway later on down the line. You know, I was just thinking to myself, I was just basically looking through the other e-bike videos that I did and uh, people complaining about reviewing an e-bike, a certain gentleman. And then I went to the video where I did an e-bike canal camping and he said it was the best video of mine he ever watched. <laughs> you can't please everyone, can you? At all. They like to see you using the e-bikes on your channel for camping, but some people don't like you reviewing them or showing them, let's say. I can't review it, I've, I've not basically used it enough. But yeah, ain't that a funny character? He hated me showing it, but he loved me using it. If you show it and then you use it, if people say, oh, what e-bike's that, what does it do? You can send the show video, let's like, say the review video. Then can't you see, oh, this is everything you need to know about the e-bike. I'm sure I did that. It's just a tough world. If you could please everybody, you'd be a brilliant person, wouldn't you? I love this e-bike. I wish I could keep it, but I don't need it. I really don't need it. 
Right, I'm gonna get on my way. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you next time.